that we will be going to the tribunal, the elections petitions tribunal, to present our case. Our case is based on the reported thumbprinting that went on in the homes of key PDP stalwarts, video evidence that we have in our possession of election rigging, the confirmed late arrival of voting materials in most of the local governments, the fact that no result sheets were available in most of the units where elections were held, the major intimidation and coercion of voters by PDP thugs, and the questionable, uh, on a constitutional basis, uh, use of the Nigerian army as security for the election and their active participation in the coercion stroke intimidation of the voters. We have written to the Independent Electoral Commission, INEC, and have applied for certified true copies of the key election documents and believe that these results will show, firstly, the high voter turnout when this result is compared to previous elections. We have in this election a total of about 350 thousand voters. For a by-election, we would expect a low voter turnout. The last senatorial election in Delta Central, which was at the height of the general election, shows a total voters turnout of just about 200,000 voters. And we would not expect that the number of voters at a by-election would be over 50 percent more than that of a general election. We believe that the general trend where you have a by-election should show a lower voter turnout, as is the practice everywhere in the world. We further believe that on a unit-by-unit -unit comparison, we would expect to see the records reflecting a low voter turnout on a unit-by-unit -unit basis, except in the spike areas where obvious election rigging has been carried out, where you would now see a 90 or 100 percent voters turnout. And we believe that this examination of the voting materials will bear this out. We note from the results declared that Sapele, Okbe, and Ethiop East were lost by the DPP. And we blame this on a blatant rigging. The PDP has based their victory on a weakened DPP, which we state is false. They buttress their argument by talking of the last minute defection of some key DPP uh, office holders. And we wish to state that those members had long since lost credibility with the party. And more importantly, those defectors won their seats on the strength of the political party and not on their personal recognition. So their defection to PDP should not lead to movement of the grassroots votes to PDP. Lastly, we believe that the final results could only be written with the full complicity of key members of INEC. And we believe that a careful review of collated results will clearly show that the results were manipulated in favor of the PDP. We understand that the hasty recording of these numbers when examined very closely, will show that the collated figures will disagree with the original source documents. And this will be the strong basis for our petition to the tribunal. We have, according to the law, 21 days to file our papers. And we intend to show that the results in the over 1,263 units 
in Delta Central do not reflect the will of the people of Delta Central and equally do not reflect the genuine votes cast on the 12th of October 2013.